Deja vu in the streets of Windsor. Royal fans getting up extra early to catch a glimpse of the latest newlyweds. Every little detail is incredibly exciting. This time, the wind made wedding fashion tricky. Except for the most senior royal, who arrived with her 97-year-old husband, Prince Philip, in tow. Then, cue the bride. Showing up to her big day with her father, Prince Andrew. Princess Eugenie trading her famously distinctive headwear for the Queen's tiara, welcomed by her groom, Jack Brooksbank, who donned his glasses for a better view of his bride. I, Eugenie Victoria Helena. Take the Jack Christopher stamp. The royals set aside differences, letting the bride's mother in green, Sarah Ferguson, sit up front despite a long-standing rift with the family. The bride will go back to her day job in an art gallery. The groom won't get a royal title. And that all just highlights the three and a half million dollar controversy. That cost two million British pounds is to cover security. The family paid for the ceremony. Anti-monarchy campaigners submitted a petition to Parliament with 40,000 signatures demanding no taxpayer money fund the event. Somebody whose uh, father is a, a reportedly a multi-millionaire shouldn't be relying on the taxpayer to pay for, for part of her dream wedding. The carriage ride through town increased security costs for the government. I don't know how keen Eugenie was herself for a royal carriage procession, but Andrew felt that it was very, very important. She may be ninth in line to the throne, but for one day, the spotlight was squarely on Eugenie and Jack. Thomas Dagg, with CBC News, Windsor, England. The big moment of any wedding, and especially a royal wedding, is when the dress is revealed. But for Princess Eugenie, a lot of attention is being paid to what it revealed. This is the scar along Eugenie's spine from scoliosis surgery she had as a child. In an interview with ITV, the princess explained why she wanted her dress to show it off. I think you can change the way beauty is and you can show people your scars and, and I think it's really special um, to stand up for that. Earlier this year, Eugenie revealed x-rays from the time she was treated for scoliosis as a child. It's a condition that causes the spine to bend to one side, making the back appear rounded. When I was first diagnosed, it was definitely extremely overwhelming. I didn't know anybody else with this condition, um, so I really felt alone and isolated. Her decision to display her scar so prominently on such an important day has drawn praise from many young people. It was amazing to see somebody who is so influential within society just really owning her scoliosis. Um, just showcasing her scar as well and building that into her story of her wedding. It was so meaningful. Eugenie says she hoped showing her scar would honor those who had helped her and inspire others with scoliosis.